Hi, it's Dan Wampler, and I want to take a few minutes here and show you how to get a much more dramatic look from your infrared images. Now, when, I, when I'm showing you these images, what I'm talking about is I'm talking about your basic types of color infrared. And by basic types of color infrared, I mean 590, 665, and 720, which are often referred to as super color, enhanced color, and standard IR. Image you see on the screen is at 720 nanometers, standard IR. It's a nice image, but quite frankly, it's a little on the boring side because that day that I shot it, there wasn't a lot going on in the sky, and as a result, the image is a little more flat. We've got a good reflection going in the pond, but overall, the image itself just isn't that terribly exciting. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to make it pop a little bit more. And to do that, I'm going to work with the colors that I have. I'm going to work with pulling down, pulling down uh, more contrast and getting the image just overall have a pop to it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around and channel swap this image. And if you're not familiar with the channel swap, there's quite a few different things that will show you online. I'm just going to do that rather quickly. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to turn around and take my red and swap that. Then take my blue and swap that. Now I have four color tones again. I have blue and cyan in the sky red and yellow in the foliage. At 720, they're very subdued. They're very, they're very low amounts of saturation. So to make this image pop, I'm going to work with the colors that I have, but I'm going to pull a lot more out of it. Now, if you're doing this at 590 or 665, you may not have to do as much as I'm about to show you with this image because you already have a higher saturation level. But I want to show you on 720 so that everybody that's in that range will know how to do this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work with the colors I have in the foliage. To do that, I'm going to go into Image Adjustments and Selective Color. You'll find throughout this I use Selective Color quite a bit. I'm going to go into my red and I'm going to bring some black into my red. You'll notice it starts to darken that down a little bit. Then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to look at the color within the color to see what I can pull out of this. I'm trying to maximize the color that I've got. And I think working with the red, I just maximize that color because I got a little bit of a pop going. So I'm going to go to my yellow and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add some black in there. Then I'm going to start working with the slider. And here's the thing that I want you to keep in mind with this. What I'm doing right now is my interpretation. You're going to take those sliders in whatever direction looks right to you because each person's a little bit different. Now I've got a lot more color going. I'm going to click OK. I like that, but I don't want a reddish tone to this particular one. I want to make this more of a yellowish tone. So I'm going to go in under Image Adjustments, U and Saturation. I'm going to grab my red and take it over to a yellow. And I'm going to bring my saturation up. I'm going to go to my yellow, and I'm going to bring my saturation up also. Now I've got a big pop going to that yellow color. However, I want to darken it down a little bit more. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back in again to the selective color. I'm going to add some black to my red. You'll notice it's starting to bring it down there a little bit. I'm going to add some black to my yellow. Now it really dropped it down there. So what I'm going to do is while I'm in here, is I'm once again going to play with the color within the color to get exactly what I'm looking for. Now I've got my foliage looking the way I want. I'm going to work with the other colors that I have here while I'm in selective color. I'm going to go to my cyan. I'm going to add some black to it. I'm going to go to my blue. I'm going to add some black to it. I'm also going to go in to my whites and I'm going to see what happens when I add some black to my white. I want to be careful because it can start looking flat if you darken down your whites too much. I'm going to go into my neutral, bring that down just a little bit. I'm going to go into my black, and I'll bring that down. Now, at this point, you could turn around and say, you know, I got four colors. The image does sort of pop. I think I'm done. And if you're done, great. You've got yourself a dramatic looking image. However, I want to take it a little bit further and I want to lose that blue and that cyan. So I'm going to go in here to U and saturation again. I'm going to grab my cyan. I'm going to take the saturation down 
and I'm going to take the lightness down. I'm going to do the same thing with my blue. Take my saturation down, take my lightness down. And then one more time, I'm going to go in to that selective color. And I'm going to see what I can get by adding a little black to my neutral and adding a little black to the black. And there we have it. So let's compare. This is what we started with, and this is what we ended up with. So what do you think? If you like it, leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching.